Separating all the minds from the men Breaking it down from beginning to the end Got their finger on the pulse of every trend It's Steve and Tali when they looking through the lens Back in the lab with a little on the back. Fortunately, we're here with very unfortunate circumstances. Absolutely. Um, the passing of Kobe Bryant has troubled the community, the basketball community especially, and we just want to pay tribute in the most uh, affectionate way and the most diligent way as possible as we can. Uh, I want to talk about how the Mamba mentality shapes players, shaped Kobe Bryant and shaped players. And even people around the world. Exactly. Wow. Um, Mamba mentality to me means that you, whatever you're going through, you fight. Whatever you think is hard, mm -hmm. you just gotta persevere through it. And whoever's in front of you on the basketball court is a killer is food and you're the killer. You're the, they're the prey and you're the predator. And, and and you can take that aspect and you can turn it into what you're doing in life. And that's what we're trying to do as sports analysts and that's what you can do in every aspect of your life, whether you're a writer, whether you're a janitor, whether you're a, a basketball player, a football player, anything. You can take that mentality and you can implement that into your life. So I just want to say, Kobe, for y'all who don't know, surprisingly, Kobe used to be my favorite player before LeBron James came. I was born in 2001, and the first finals that I understood was Kobe Bryant against Boston Celtics when he won. Like, of course, I saw the finals when LeBron played Spurs, Kobe played, he lost the first time against Boston, but the one I fully understood was when he beat Boston after say seven games. I think that's most of us are are exactly. Yeah. That's the finals that I really remember, mm -hmm. and I always watched Kobe since I was a kid. I done debated about him hundreds and hundreds of times, and I just want to say that <clears throat> I just, he taught us a lesson that no matter what your career is, no matter what you do, family is always important. Kobe was always a happy person, but after he retired and you saw him at courtside games with his daughters, his wife, what he did after, he just seemed so happy. And he, I feel like he told us that even outside of your craft or whatever, certain people outside their craft, they're not happy, but he was so happy outside of basketball. He found other stuff to do. He mentored people. He helped people. He was he was a stand up guy. He was never the Kobe you saw on court that mean aggressive guy and the guy you see outside. You couldn't believe that he was, could even be that mean on the court because he was just so he was a great guy to his family, his friends, basketball players, fans, even for people that didn't know him, people that never even shook his hand. They looked up to him. Why? Because he just had stuff that you just wanted to, you had to admire. No matter if you hate him, no matter what, you had to admire. Um, it's really, it's really important to trickle back on what you said about him giving back to uh, other players and mentoring other players. As I think it's very important as um, believers, as Christians, um, God calls us to you know, give back to others and mm -hmm. um, pour out what we've learned into others. And even if you're not a believer, even if you're not a Christian, Kobe did that to his highest capability. Yep. He took he took a God given talent and a God and his work his work ethic and taught so many players of what it takes to be a leader, what it takes to be a killer. Mm -hmm. And some is taking some players um, longer to tap into that than others, but he still took the time out to um, reach those players and impact, have an impact after his life has been tragically taken from him. I just want to say 
not only to Kobe and Gigi, but rest in peace to all the families that lost their loved ones on the helicopter. It's very tragic that somebody could die in that way. No, I wouldn't wish that on nobody, Vanessa, who's her husband and kids and other families. I don't wish that on nobody. For somebody who loves the game of basketball and who grew up watching basketball as their first sport, playing it, watching it, everything, it's tragic to see somebody die like this, especially somebody that you watched for so long and looked up to. So I just want to say I give my condolences to the families and to Vanessa, and just know that we're all here. Separating all the minds from the men, breaking it down from beginning to the end. Got their finger on the pulse of every trend. They see them inside me when they looking through the lens. 